Hey guys, Enzo from Home Theater Engineering and the lovely Andrew Poole. Hello. I've got hair, he doesn't. That's how yep. long I've been. That's how you thing. tell the difference. This is the first time I've grown my hair in 15 years and I'm very chuffed. It's quite yep. lush. And the last time I grew my hair was 15 years ago. <laughs>、uh, so, what we're doing today is we've recently done, completed a few jobs, and today we're going to talk about one that we did in、um, Sydney. It, it for was, a client、yeah. whose name is Grant.、Mm. Uh, Grant reached out to us many, many years ago.、Mm. It was a long winded process, as most of our jobs are. I think he was 12 when he first called us. Probably. <laughs> he was probably an enthusiastic little child then.、Um, he still is an enthusiastic man.、Uh, and essentially, he was building a new home. There w a s a lot of delays and COVID hit and、mm. all this and all this.、Um, really, really passionate guy. Didn't really know what to.、Um, Who to trust.、Mm. There's a lot of information out there, and he contacted us about seeing your channel. Could you help me with the room design?、Mm. And he was starting from scratch.、Mm. But as our relationship with Grant grew, the trust with us grew,、um, and、um, he's an enthusiastic individual and really saw what we were doing was、um, just driving passion and honesty to his project.、Mm. Uh, and, you know, just how do we make it a little bit better? How do we make it a little bit better? And we always offer like a better and best option.、Mm. And there was, he saw merit in obviously what we did and how we did it and the process. Now, Andrew went across and this job evolved a lot because it was originally it was a different size type of room with less channels. And he, then. He, he, and he, he built this room. Oh, he, he, so he built the house, house、yeah. and then he built this room for the cinema. Yeah, yeah I think、so. the house was designed around the room, to yep, be honest. Yep, but yep.、Um, it's a big room. You know, it's a seven meter room、um, by five. It's got、mm. two rows of seating.、Mm. Um, it runs products like,、um, you know, your、uh, Barco, your Mad VR. It's got Priscilla.、Um, it had all the.、Um, um, Uh, seating in there.、Mm. Uh, we did a fabric wall system in it, LED strip lighting.、Mm. Um, so it's a beautiful room. And Andrew's done a fantastic interview、um, with Grant about his process and you know, his experience with us and、yep. how, what it means to him and what the whole thing's meant to him and the final product.、Uh, although we had a few delays at the end of this、um, job because the Sparky unfortunately had done some things wrong. We, we, so, had, we had some issues just, just,、yeah. just in final connection, and that then stopped us finishing off the fabric panel. So that had to be finished after we'd left. Later.、Um, we'll incorporate、yep. those、yep. finished photos into、yep. the video. So you'll see those. In, in this interview that's coming up,、uh, you'll,、uh, whilst he's talking and I'm talking to him, we'll splash up some progress photos、um, of the room as we go.、Um, but、uh, I think this gives you know, a real heartfelt、uh, description of you know, what he went through and why, why he、mm. wanted to do this room and how he felt about and I think, it. And I think room tours are like, great on YouTube, and we've、yeah. done a video recently about this. But I think when you do a tour of someone's heart, <laughs> And their experience wow, is、right. probably better, a bit deep, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah.、Um, it's probably better than just a panning around products. Now, I, I think experience and emotion is, I mean, we do this for the experience. That's the whole reason you go to the cinemas or you build your own cinema、mm. or you go places.、Um, but I think it's important to get a customer's perspective on this. Yeah, and I, I, an th- honest I think one of the things I want to say is one of the reasons Enzo and I do this is that,、um, you know, with every customer I think we've ever had, there's been a story. You know, one customer、Always. said to me, you know, I said, well, you know, why are you building a cinema? And he goes, because as a kid, I was never allowed to watch TV. I was never allowed to go to the movies. I always wanted my own cinema once, once I it was an adult. We've, we've had other people with all sorts of different reasons, but they're all passionate, whether it's the fact that, you know,、uh, they, when they were a kid, the best times they had with their dad was when they went to the、mm. cinema. Or, but there's always, there's always the some driving passion or some movie that, 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 Um, triggered a connection with cinema or an emotional experience, whatever it is. And one of the joys of building rooms, which I get to see every time we finish a room, is you know, how happy customers are. And、uh, you know, that's a real pleasure. And this is something that is going to be a lifetime for them. They're going to have this thing forever and、uh, they can just enjoy it anytime they want. And And I, for me, that, I find that extremely rewarding. He makes a、yeah. lot of grown men cry. We、okay. may even make a playlist on YouTube where it says grown men crying. Yep. So we're going to show this interview now. Enjoy it. And it's a great experience. And again, don't be scared of contacting us. We help anyone. We will look after you. It doesn't matter where you're located in the world. Yep. Our business model is a little bit unique. Yep. Enjoy. I, where, where the hell am I? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm in Sydney and I'm with Grant. How are you, Grant? Good, thanks, Andrew. Okay, we've been here, we've been living in Grant's house for about five days, so thank you for your hospitality. This、yes, is myself、cool. and Dave from Home Theatre Engineering. You wanted a cinema? Yes, yeah. 
massive dream um, since being a kid. I always remember going to the video shop, um, yeah. hiring movies um, in the school holidays, going to the movies um, with my pop. That sort of just grew that love of movies from there. Um, racing to get the um, TV program out of the paper each week to see what movies are on, getting the VHS S tapes and recording them. Um, and then there, just build up that love for the cinema. Um, and movies and then seeing a mate's room uh, a few years ago six by four room and actually thought oh this is a possibility that we that's something that we can actually do and then sort of yeah during covid branched out like started to um educate myself more in like what's possible and um yeah and sort of just that's where i got in contact with enzo and it all rolled on from there and you built this house really not around the cinema mm -hmm. but you built it with the aim of having a cinema didn't you yeah well that's yeah. it like um the property that i was living at the time was um fantastic didn't need to move or build anything else but always wanted a cinema so got a bigger block of land and then yeah pretty much designed the home around mm -hmm. like having a cinema and a mm -hmm. space to have a dedicated room yeah so let's talk about what we've got in the room so the room is built uh, i guess around a barco braggy projector which yep. is up in the roof behind us um we've got uh, a trinov we've got a mad vr extreme we've got the parasound 52 pluses we've got some ants and monoblocks driving the lcrs um then we've got a ub 9000 we've got an apple tv we've got a set top box we've got an nvidia shield we've got two dacs to give us the extra four channels for the trinov um and that's protected by a uh, Thor uh, power station. So uh, apparently I've heard this area is sort of subject to a few lightning strikes here and there. <laughs> so we wanted to make sure everything's protected. Yeah. And we've got four golden ear subs in here and an SI uh, perf screen because we wanted a little bit extra gain in the room. And this room's really nice. It's, it's kind of a wide room um, and it gives you a really cinematic feel. We're all Priscilla speakers, so we've got the uh, Priscilla P28s, LCRs left, right and centre behind the screen. They're set nicely back in a baffle wall and we've got that acoustically treated. We've got some acoustic treatment around the room. We've got Priscilla P6Vs on the wall, P5s, six of those in the ceiling. Um, and it makes for a pretty awesome setup. And then we're just at the point where we've kind of finished all of the electronics and the room's working. You watched a movie last night, right? Yes. How yeah, was yeah, it? Correct. Oh, fantastic. What was it yeah. you watched again? Uh, Passengers. Passengers, yeah. yeah. So. And how was the picture? Yeah, so the picture was amazing. Yeah. Um, the really good um, space scenes like yep. with the stars and the blue and like just... And you were saying the water scenes were kind oh, of... Yeah. A couple of the water scenes where Jennifer Lawrence is swimming in the pool mm. and it's just covered with water and it just feels like... the the water is just so realistic. Yeah. yeah. There's a bit of a funny story, right? So uh, yourself and your partner, Elise, yep. were sitting in here the other night and you're watching Jurassic Park, right? Yeah. Tell us what happened. Yeah, so there's a scene where um, the Triceratops is uh, sick and the two doctors go over to check it out. Um, and obviously they're trying to figure out why um, the Triceratops is sick. So they sort of go to the big piles of poo to sort of look through it and see, yeah. oh, it's the leaves that they've been eating. And then all of a sudden there's sort of like flies flying around on the... Um, on the picture, but then um, just with the flies flying around with the speakers, um, just at least just sort of waved her hand just to she brush. So she was brushing the flies. Brush away. the fly away. <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah, we just couldn't stop laughing because yeah. like um, it was just so realistic the sound yeah. um, that it felt like the flies were in the room. So that was sort of a key moment of wow, like this is the next really level. Working. Yeah, this is this work. Look, yeah. this is what we pride ourselves on, right? So the, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of things you can focus on at home cinema, but obviously the most predominant things are picture quality, sound quality, and usability. Yep. Um, what were your expectations when you built this room? Yeah, so I, I, I guess I, the, my expectation was to have, like, I always wanted two rows of seating. Mm. Um, I wanted the speakers to be hidden. Um, not that I didn't like the look of the speakers, like, because you can see the ones, the Atmos speakers, but mm. uh, maybe just to have that, that was sort of the feel that I was looking for. Um, and then, like, it, with the, the screen, like, Pretty much to fill up the front wall which it does mm. which is fantastic um and yeah just to have um the sound to be able to travel from speaker to speaker and just like really immerse yourself in it um and yeah like i feel from the two movies that we've sort of flicked through that it's yeah it's over exceeded my expectations at the moment and i'm really enjoying it. i've got a stack of movies that i'm <laughs> ready to lock into so yeah i can't wait to that's really look it makes our day when 
you know, things work and people are happy. Yep. Uh, I need to ask you something. Mm -hmm. um, you had your choice of anyone in Australia yep. uh, to build the system and you made the risky choice mm -hmm. of choosing someone. You're, you're in Sydney, you yep. know, you're 3,000 something kilometres <laughs> from us. You chose us from Perth. Can, can I ask you why? You know, I mean, I, there's a lot of people sort of, who do you trust? Who do you go yep. to? Who do you use? I mean, we're using the best equipment. You know, we've got Barco in here. We've got seller in here we've got um Mavia, we've got Trino, we've got all the good gear um but can I, i'm kind of curious mm -hmm. as to why us yeah so that journey sort of started um during covid where i um started to branch out and then i asked a few sydney companies first just because i thought it would be easier to work with the build like to do pre-wiring um them to actually do it so yeah that, like i always had found home theater engineering on youtube and was always watching their videos and yeah, I was maybe a tiny bit hesitant right at the start mm -hmm. because you were in Perth yeah, and I was in Sydney. Way, yeah. yeah, so I did approach um, some Sydney companies, but they rubbed me the wrong way. Just a few comments, and I'm sure that they do fantastic rooms, and I've always heard good reviews, but just sort of, yeah, I just didn't get the best feeling after talking to a few. Um, and then I just kept watching YouTube during COVID, and especially home theater engineering videos, and I guess I just felt like I was always learning something um, through your videos, and it was never like pushing products on or like it wasn't really review based. It was just always like tips or um, think, and it just felt like really genuine. And that's when I was like, oh, I've got nothing to lose here. I, I remember writing a Microsoft Word document with my budget. <laughs> it's like, quite a document. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with um, my budget and my, my ideas of what I wanted and sent it to Enzo and like, it, no doubt, like, oh, sorry. Um, no underestimation that he called me back in within two minutes and he said, Oh, do you have a chance to talk? And I think we were on the phone for like half an hour straight away. So mm. I think that was what I sort of had lacked mm. from the Sydney companies was mm. that, um, that interest and that passion. I just felt that straight away. And then it just sort of just rolled on from there. And like, I wouldn't hesitate from ever like contacting someone. So if you're someone that's further away yeah that that distance doesn't make a difference like it all works well you get the plans the the, the gear gets transferred here really easily um they're always a phone call or message away you know i feel like i was always talking to enzo and with the time difference sometimes the jobs or my mm. the things that were happening here were happening three hours before enzo was awake and i'd still shoot him a message and it was only like 20 minutes or 15 minutes and he'd get back to me so mm. It was always, I felt that communication and that customer um, rapport sort of was really, really good. What about uh, now we've built the cinema, mm -hmm. what do you feel about the level of technical expertise? Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. I, one thing I probably underestimated was the use of Control 4. Mm -hmm. um, so getting to see yourself and Dave um, sort of um, program it in and how it links with not only um, just stuff in the theatre, but with speakers around the home and security cameras and doorbells and just the power of that, I, I think it's, I don't know if it gets underestimated, but I just think that's probably mm. something that I've been, yeah, it's I, I think you've on a good point. Um, mm. Usability is a big deal. Mm. We, you know, I mean, how many remotes have we accumulated? Yeah, that's like, right, a yeah, stack, stack of them. Of them. And, you know, there's, there's a couple of things. You came and saw us at the Melbourne Hi-Fi show and, yep. and that was really awesome. I think you enjoyed that a lot, right? Yeah, that was yeah. fantastic, yeah. So one of the things I talked about there was usability. One of the reasons we use the MAVR is it makes the room usable. You, you don't have to worry about aspect ratios. One of the reasons mm -hmm. we use Control 4 is it makes the room usable. And then whilst we've been here, we had a bit of extra time. So we've hooked in another room with the TV. Yep. We've had a look at the air conditioning and things like that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we've still got a few things, there's some electrical work to be finished, which is why this room isn't structurally finished because mm -hmm. we're waiting for the fabric to go in, but the, the electrician needs to finish off a few things with some lighting. Uh, yeah. But the room is, in terms of picture and sound, it's completely done. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think you've struck on a really good point there. We, we aim to build the very best cinemas with usability, um, with support, with good picture and good sound. I mean, we spent two days just calibrating the sound and picture in here. Yeah. And I think you saw the picture initially. When we first fired up the project, you looked at it, then you came in and watched a movie. Big difference? Oh yeah, big, massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can so. definitely tell um, that the calibration makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. so sure. that's been really cool. Mm -hmm. Look, um, I, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, you know, we genuinely appreciate the fact that people take a risk on us. You know, there's a lot of people out there saying, you know, use us, trust us. Yeah. But at the end of the day, what really drives us is making people like you happy. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing is also, you know, we're really passionate about the ongoing support. I think, you know, you know, we've put 
equipment in here like you can't remotely really support things like a Lumigen you can't really remotely support a range of other project projectors one of the reasons we build the rooms with the way we do is we can remotely support and see what's going on with the mad VR we can remotely support and see what's going on with the Trinov we can remotely support and see what's going on with the Barco projector we can do all of that um, and we can guide and we can train and we can support and we can assist and it's important that our customers know that we're here for them Mm -hmm. all the time. I, I think you and Elise are going to have a great time in here. I hope you really, really enjoy it. Um, have you got any questions? Is there anything that kind of springs to mind at the moment that you think other people might want to ask either? Oh, good call. Yeah. Um, oh, I think it would just be, yeah, I, I think my biggest question was just how it was going to work with the distance, which we sort of touched on. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was, yeah, that word of trust comes is a massive word in this sort of relationship that we've sort of built up from doing the job um, especially when I sort of had an idea that I wanted to use a particular brand of speakers and then talking to Enzo and yourself and sort of moved over to Priscilla and I hadn't really heard them before and um, that's a big leap of faith yeah that's right how is the sound in here oh it's fantastic it's unreal it's yeah I haven't yeah, yeah I, the voice detail is probably one of the things that really yeah. one of the reasons I really love these speakers is the voice detail is ridiculous yeah and it, it I always keep saying, I keep saying the word that it just feels so real. Um, the sound feels like really real. Like the people like feel like they're in the room or they're talking like directly to you. And I think that's, that's, yeah, that's been outstanding is the speakers there. And yeah, that level of trust of, yeah, deciding to go with Priscilla with, yeah, just hearing your reviews and watching what I could see and what you, how you spoke about it. And yeah, it hit, it's hit, definitely hit the mark, if not gone over so yeah it's fantastic awesome, yeah thank you very much really yeah. appreciate awesome, it Andrew. Thanks, enjoy the cinema and yeah. i expect written reports <laughs> yeah and i, I want to know you know other than fly swatting what else is going yeah. on um but yeah uh i i i've sat here a couple of nights now and just checked the cinema out make sure it's working and uh, i'm really really pleased with it uh, unfortunately we won't be here to see the fabric go on the walls yep. um so we're looking for some photos and when they come yeah. through we'll we'll pop them online as well yeah definitely but yeah. um yeah uh, i hope you have many 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 years of fun with this room yeah definitely i can't wait to get break into it yeah all right mate and thank you so awesome. much for talking to us too. yeah no worries all right awesome. take care thanks mate see you later